Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Midweek Mindset. Hey, I have a question. Can, can I get some references from you? Uh, or did you make reference to something? Or can you refer me to a good plumber? Or can, um, can I get a referral? Or what this word reference and and it's used in so many different ways and I want to talk about references um, you say well what do you mean well you know it, it is such a in so many ways we, we talk about uh, a referral yeah if you're trying to uh, get hired right you need a good reference from someone for for a job maybe along the way um, somebody's asking yeah, your neighbor asks, hey, I'm having trouble. Can, can I get a reference for a, for a plumber? Do you know somebody in the area, right? They're, they're looking for a referral that way. Maybe, maybe an attorney um, questions and asks if you're making a, are you referencing a such and such you know, time and date of, and uh, with the big words and, and do whatever. There, a reference is used in, in so many ways. We have biblical references and not only we, Biblical reference can be a, a chapter and a verse, right? Or, or it can just be referring to something that happened in the Bible. Remember, remember maybe when, uh, um, if, if you're my age or, or older, <laughs> that, hey, when we had to do things, we had to go study and, and do reports in school, we went into the library, you went to that section, the reference section, right? Where all the big books were and we looked up stuff and we had to document information and gather information from that reference section. So there, there are so many different ways, personal references, biblical references, and, and so many types of things. So I wanna talk about this word reference for um, uh, this week and next, okay? So you see, I just, I just referred you, I just made a reference that we would be this week and next week. So next week's midweek mindset I made a reference to. And in next week's midweek mindset, I may refer you back to this week's um, edition if you if you need more information, you see. And a reference. Um, and, and the reason why I, I wanted, there's several aspects we're gonna talk about briefly. And today it, it's about knowing who you're talking to, right? The reference. What if I am invited as a guest lecturer for a third grade class, right? At, at the elementary school, and they tell me, just pick your subject and come on in. And so I decide what I should go in and talk to the third graders about is, um, hey, let's talk about um, your favorite Glenn Miller tunes, right? And see how many raise their hands or uh, what are your, what's your favorite Elvis Presley song? And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> right now if I took that same question and I was invited to to speak at the retirement at the seniors retirement luncheon and I could go in and say hey look um, what are your favorite Elvis Presley tunes or Glenn Miller songs and, and we started from there right they would have some understanding of what I was talking about by and large right and and so knowing who you're talking to and the references that I make based upon who I'm talking to. If I wanted to, uh, if someone was asking me questions about some biblical things, and they, I, if, I, if I know they've grown up in church, and that they've been um, uh, a Christian for a long time, and they, they read their Bible, and, they, and, and uh, they're involved in Bible studies and things, and I can talk to them, and I can use words like justification or, or the tribulation, or, you know, I, I can refer them to the Torah, and maybe we have some common ground and we can work from to, to build on and, and learn from. What if I make kind of an arrogant assumption with folks when I don't know what their background is and uh, they didn't have an opportunity to grow up in church or they haven't been in a, in a church in 40 years or, or whatever the case is and I jump in and I want to make some references. What it can, If I say something about a tour, they might, is that like something you wear on your head or what? It's like, no, that's the, that's the five... Um, first five books of, of the Bible uh, and the Old Testament that, that Moses wrote. But first of all, it, you need to know who you're talking to um, so that you know that you're on the same wavelength about things. And, and second of all, um, if we make 
those references that that don't make a connection we we are um well arrogant or we offend someone perhaps or um in that situation and so it's important to know who you're talking to and what references you make if i'm talking to someone that has no biblical background and i mention well hey you know like david and bathsheba me i don't know me is was that like a the a cafe in jerusalem you know, back in the days of Christ, I, they, they don't know what that is, maybe. And, and uh, I need to be, understand who I'm talking to and what I'm saying. What, um, if I I've talked about the plagues, and Moses and the plagues and the pharaohs, and they're, none of that registers to someone that, that doesn't have that background. You can talk to me all day about the circuitry boards and computers, clueless because I don't have any background in that. And so why should we assume that someone should have a background in the same thing that we have a background in or an understanding in um, to some degree? And so it's important to know who we're talking to before we're making references to to different, different things in the Bible. So today's point, know who you're talking to. And remember when we're talking about um, Christianity, just tell them a little bit, just tell them about Jesus and, and find out where they're at. Show them love, care, and concern. And tell them about Jesus. And, and it doesn't impress anybody, you know, how many references we know or don't know or what we refer to. Um, and so that's what I have for you today. Have a great day.